Hey guys, this is Manak, and today we'll see how to design shear wall in STAT. Okay, so let's create a new project here and uh, shear wall in STAT. And then we need metric and we'll create a project here. And then we'll just use, let's use the parametric model here, structure model here. And first of all, file and go to just select the units here. Uh, select units, so default units meter, okay. And then we we'll go here, frame model, the frame, okay. And uh, let's uh, say select the simple day frame. Let's go with eight and uh, two and uh, eight and two, two and this. Let's go six and uh, also two. three meter six apply and uh, file not start yes okay. Uh, so this is done. Now, when you create a parametric model, you don't uh, you need the beams here. So view and uh, top view and just select the beams like this. Delete. Select like this. Delete. Like this. Delete. And select this. And uh, you can delete or you keep it. So let's do a 3D view. Then delete this as well. Okay. Okay. Select again, delete. Okay. Now I uh, can go to geometry parametric model and click on add. Uh, just click here wall and okay. And then so one, two, three, four, five. So the finer the mesh, the better the results will get. Okay. So just click on okay. Don't want free openings now. Okay. Minimize this and go to preview model and then click add. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Zero point five. You can go zero point three also. Uh, just uh, for the sake of quick, I'm not doing this. Finishing. Okay. Go to preview model. Click on add. One. Okay. One, two, three, and four, and five. 0 0.5. Click on okay. Now, three side we have just minimize this. Now we'll click merge mesh and click this one and click merge mesh again and click this one. Click merge mesh again and click outside. So like this you can click and uh, deselect that. Okay. So now adding for the next floor you could do the same process once again. So we'll go uh, and select here. View model and okay, mud mesh four, one, two, three, four, and five. Zero point five. Okay, no openings. Minimize this. Uh, go to view model, add okay, one, two, three, and four, and five. Zero point five. Okay. No openings, minimize this, preview model, add, okay, one, two, three, four, and five, you open five, click on okay, no openings, minimize this, merge mesh, merge with this one, merge mesh once again, merge with this one, merge mesh once again, click outside. So this suppose this is a uh, you know shear wall for lift and this side will be the opening. So I'm just uh, doing this like this. Okay. So after geometry is finished, then we do properties. First of all, we define properties. Rectangular section. Let's go point three into point three for both column and beams. Okay. Add and let's go uh, thickness of point two for our shear wall. Add and close. Okay, so now we're going to delete the columns uh, for the place where we have the shear wall. So go to view and uh, view go to top view, top view. Okay, so and this is the top. Okay, so we select like this. Okay, and delete. These columns are deleted now. Okay. Now, uh, the properties, first of select this and uh, go to select, go to beams, select all and 
assign and yes plates uh, go to plates select all plates and assign and yes okay so the property editing is done material uh, concrete already by default it takes specification uh, beta angle not required now supports create the supports add select this uh, go to view front view and uh, just select all the bottom one assign yes okay now this is the geometry done so then loading so so will set simple load dead and live load uh, can add the detailed loading here dead uh, dl where we have self weight here and live we'll add one particular live load just to check okay dead load just let me add the self weight can add the other loads also just for checking and doing this and uh, assign to view assign and yes live load let's add a live load here and uh, let's add a flow load here and the flow load minus two uh, zero let's go one two uh, seven and, and close so self weight and flow load both are applied now add a load formulation loading uh, information case uh, 1.5 ELLM and let's take this and click on add and close. And then we go to analysis and design and analysis commands. Click on add the analysis command and uh, then we go to uh, design and concrete. And this will be IS codes, ISO 56. Select parameters. Let's select only one parameter, which is power. FC and FY. Let's like, so take two parameters. Okay. Okay. And then define parameters here. So let's go with 35 and FB 550. And then choose commands. Let's do add beam, design beam, design column, design slab, and take off for the estimate. Close. Now Five thousand assigned to view. Assign yes. This also assigned to view. Assign yes. Design view. Uh, go to select parallel group. X parallel group Z. Assign and yes. Now design column parallel group. Beams parallel group Y. And assign yes. Design element and. Uh, here it will be plates select all and assign and yes this is done and then we go to analysis and design run analysis save the structure so I have not made any mistake and uh, let's see there is zero warning zero error okay now we can go to utilities here and click on the analysis output and uh, here Beam design column. This you have the estimate here. Total, uh, you know, bar. You now weight is five five point uh, uh, five 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 seven two kg. Okay, and then uh, concrete volume volume with eight cubic meter, and then we have the shear wall design. So you have the shear wall design here, and shear wall is designed as a slab. You know. So we have the top and bottom reinforcement. So it will be in two layers. So two layers here, the shear wall are designed in stand. So let me show you how to evaluate this. So the propose this is coming 216. And if you see, we we'll zoom up and we'll see the unit here. Uh, what is the unit? How to read this data? Because it's important to execute this, right? So this is uh, the data here. Yeah, this is the unit. This is uh, this is longitudinal reinforcement square mm per meter square mm per meter. So in one meter there is two seventy six. So if you just calculate this, so in one meter, okay, there is two hundred sixteen. So two hundred sixteen one meter, and where I have ten mm bar is seventy eight. So number of uh, seven number of bars ten mm bars which will be required, it will be it will be two point seven. Okay means it is coming as three so if we uh, you know three, take three or if you take one bar more okay it will be four so let if let's take three so three bar is three bar of 10 mm is required in uh, one meter 
Okay, so there will be what is the spacing will be equal to there will be if the three number of bar spacing will be two. So it will be one by two. That is you know that is point five. Okay, so point five. Uh, sorry, uh, one, 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 that is 500 spacing, okay? At 500 spacing, it will be uh, provided, okay? If, if in one meter, there are three bars. Okay, let me just uh, make a diagram to better. So if in one meter there are three bars, then the spacing will be 500 mm center to center. So this doesn't look that, that much, you know, credible. So you can give here uh, 250 mm center to center and take this as four also. Okay, uh, so we can take that like this. So this is the design instead. And then let's see the go to the post processing mode and see what is the result here. And uh, we'll take the load combination only. Okay, and see apply and okay. And if we want to see the uh, late stresses, and we'll see the late stresses, load to load combination four, that's maximum absolute, apply and okay. So you can see the uh, maximum absolute stresses in the plates here. And we can also see the maximum principal major stress. Okay, you can also see this here. So the plate stresses you can see in the post processing mode, and also the deflection also you can see. A displacement also we can view here okay in the post processing mode 